Ripple 3D title animations are a set of title templates for 3D text that can be found in the Titles browser in Fonica Pro once you've installed and run FX Factory. These 3D title animation templates are built on the shipping 3D title templates that come with Fonica Pro 10, but they've been supercharged. So for example, in this timeline, I've included both the built-in Rotate 3D title as well as our Super Rotate title. If I play the default versions of both, you'll find they're very similar. However, if we look in the inspector for the built-in Rotate 3D, here's a set of parameters. They're outstanding. This is a great title. But we've taken things further based on how we've worked with these titles and seen other things we want to do with them. So if I now move my playhead over Super Rotate, we can see quite a few more parameters. For example, if we go back to the original one, there are a set of three animation options for this particular template. In Super Rotate, we have many more options to be able to animate individual characters. So for example, instead of just Tilt All, which looks like this, which is great, we have the option to Tilt Characters, which looks more like this, and can be adjusted by the spread amount. Here's a lower spread value, and here's a higher spread value. So there are many more animation options. Also, if I turn on the underlying video here, you'll see that for the original built-in Rotate 3D, there's no change to the video, but for the Super Rotate, the video automatically animates to become blurred as the title comes on. And that blurred animation is adjustable right down here near the bottom. We've got the background blur amount. You can set it to zero or as high as you want. And you can also choose to replace the background video with an editable gradient of any color that you want to use. A lot of these parameters are self-explanatory that you can figure out how to use to adjust the animation for coming in and going out. You can adjust the spread as we just saw, how long the fade lasts, how long the animation itself lasts, and whether you want it to animate in or not by using the build-in checkbox. Same thing with the build out. You can choose whether it happens or not. You can choose from different speed types. Adjust the spread and the fade and retime. In addition, we have parameters for keyframing the position and rotation of the text. While you can always change text directly in the inspector by dragging on the rotation bands, I'll undo that, and I'll undo that, or dragging on the handles themselves, on the arrows to move the text in X, Y, and Z, you can keyframe these in the title inspector with the super parameters. Here's an example of how you can keyframe the position and rotation parameters to customize the animation. I have the super rotate title in the project. I've set the animation style to tilt characters, which looks like this. And what I'm going to do is temporarily turn off the build in and build out so that there is no animation. That way I can see the text the entire time. I'll press the up arrow to move the playhead to the first frame. And then I'll set keyframes for position and rotation, then open up each of these parameters to reveal X, Y, and Z. Then I'll press the down arrow and the left arrow to park the playhead on the last frame of this title. At this point, I'll set an ending rotation in both X and Y. Then I'll press the up arrow and set a starting rotation at the opposite angle, both X and Y. So if I play that now by hitting the forward slash key, we get a nice, smooth, ongoing rotation of the tilted words. What's kind of neat about this is we can combine it with one of the animation presets simply by turning the build out and the build in back on again. So you can easily use keyframes to combine and customize a built-in animation. So now that you've seen the basics of how to work with these Ripple 3D animation templates, I want to show you what's the same and what's different about each of these other templates. I've taken a copy of each of the other ones and dropped them in the timeline. 
and I've included both the original and one that I've modified, so you can get a sense of how you can modify these. Now, what's the same about all of them is every single one of these templates includes the ability to automatically blur the background or to use a customizable gradient as a background. The other thing they all have in common is the ability to keyframe both position and rotation, which we just looked at. So first up, we have Super Fade. This is original Super Fade. with the default settings. And then here is another option for how to use it. Now, I haven't modified the font or changed the text or changed the material or the lighting or put it on a background or anything like that. All I'm doing is modifying a few of the built-in parameters. So what I've done with this option here, in the parameters we have options to fade by word instead of character, which I did there. And I've also changed the direction it fades in, the speed it fades in, and the spread, and a few other things to do that. And then I've keyframed uh, position and rotation. If we select it and press Control V, we can see those keyframes at the beginning and end. You can add keyframes in the middle of a title as well. However, um, rotation keyframes are not easable. They, they won't ease. So if you have a rotation keyframe in the middle, generally it's not going to look as smooth, and that's why I usually put the keyframes at the end. You can smooth position keyframes. You just need to select in here position to get just the position keyframes, and then right-click. And position keyframes generally will be smooth by default. I changed these to linear so that the smooth, so that the position doesn't slow down as it comes toward the end. There's a constant position change as the words move down the screen. So I right-clicked on these keyframes and chose linear. Smooth is the default. Uh, here's another example of super scale. Now super scale default animation looks like this. Scales up and scales down. And here's another option. So the changes I made on super scale here, uh, again, this time I scaled by character instead of the entire line, which was by default. And I also chose the direction center to ends, and I made a very small spread value, so the letters appeared more to pop on than to smoothly come on. There's a great option here to apply the speed per object over the, or over the entire duration. And I like to use per object most of the time, so the speed setting applies on each individual letter. And again here, I've used keyframes on position and rotation. And the rest of these settings, the rest of these parameters should be familiar. An additional parameter here is a variance setting and a noisiness setting, which can adjust how variable the animation is. In this particular case, it probably wouldn't be that interesting, but you'll see this in several different um, of these templates where you can increase the variance of the animation and it will add uh, randomness to the animation itself. In this case, it really won't do much of anything. Next up, we have super spacing. It's a tracking animation, and this is the default. And here's another option. So you can see I've added rotation keyframes, but also I've changed the nature of the animation itself. And the way I've done that is to adjust the speed in to accelerate and decelerate. And I've also made it quite fast in the retiming here. And then of course I've animated uh, position and rotation keyframes. I'll select this again and press Control V just so we can see those keyframes there. And then my favorite I saved for last, which is Super Tumble. And here's the default super tumble. I'm going to press C to select the title and press the forward slash key to cycle through it. So super, so super tumble has a nice uh, random on and off animation. And you may notice, let me stop the playhead right where it's still coming on. In the title inspector, there are some uh, generate buttons to create different randomness for the move in, the rotate in, the move out, and the rotate out. And they don't work for everything. And it's just the nature of how these things work. You have to try them out and see. For this particular animation, they do nothing. But if you try different animations like tumble zoom down and then click on these, you'll see that it will change the layout of the letters for rotation and for movement. So you can play with those to adjust the actual animation. 
So um, that was the default. And then let's go down to the last one, which I've modified, and play that one. So in this case, I've created a, a pretty radically different animation. And primarily by using the keyframing position and rotation on top of the animation. I chose the tumble zoom up animation and uh, accelerate decelerate for the speed in. I'm animating my character. And then down here you can see the keyframes that I've used to uh, create this animation where the text flies up onto the screen, turns, and then flies out. So with each of these, you can do quite a bit just by adding in a little bit of position and rotation keyframes and then playing with the settings to, to uh, create a really new customized animation. So I hope these tips were helpful so that you can get the most out of these Ripple 3D title animations.